witnesses helped bring the 2020 death of Manny Ellis to the nation's attention. Today, they took the stand in the trial of three Tacoma police officers accused in his homicide. Keon Lowry and Sarah McDowell drove within feet of the struggle, but the defense attorneys focused on their reliability and accuracy. Fox 13 News reporter A.J. Janabelle outside the courtroom with more. A.J.? McDowell captured this incident on her cell phone. The defense argues that McDowell and Lowry are the state's most significant witnesses, but they question just how well they remember what happened. The passenger patrol door opens up and hits Manuelis. Keon Lowry sat in his car with his daughters on the night of March 3rd, 2020. His kid's mom, Sarah McDowell, sat in a separate car directly in front of them. She explained to the court how she saw the officers respond. Ran around the uh, front of the cop car and grabbed Manuel and like flipped him, body slammed him onto the ground. The passenger officer came from the side or came, you know, they were all right there, came and then started punching Manuel in the face over and over again. Lowry said he got out of his car and yelled at the officers. Without the jury present, the defense asked Lowry about his use of marijuana, specifically on the day of the incident. These two witnesses, him and Ms. McDowell, are arguably the state's most, most significant witnesses because they're the only two that say that they saw the beginning of the interaction between Mr. Ellis and police. The defense has asserted self-defense, both us and, and Officer Burbank, and so that initial interaction is crucial. And if these individuals were under the influence, we at least need to be able to ask them under oath whether they were or they weren't. After Lowry answered several questions from the defense, the judge determined marijuana use had no effect on his testimony. The defense also asked McDowell about Ellis's response to the officers. So they told Mr. Ellis to put his hands behind his back multiple times, but Mr. Ellis didn't do it. No. And her ability to recall the night. In, in an interview that it's, it's been so long ago that you're really not sure about the events that happened on that day. I can remember it. Um, overall, what happened, what I seen. I don't, can't remember all the details completely. McDowell was on the stand for the majority of the afternoon. The next two witnesses who are expected to give testimony or another eyewitness, a person who lived in the area and whose doorbell camera captured the incident, as well as an audio expert. You can count on continued coverage. Reporting here in Tacoma, I'm AJ Janabel for Fox 13 News.